All right, so this is uh, Jacob and I's playthrough of Portal 2. I know we're a few days behind everyone else, but um, you know we're poor college students, and uh, we had to wait till payday and stuff, which is today, payday. So it's great. Well, it's payday for you. I get paid on Mondays. Whatever, it's payday. <laughs> Um, so we've avoided watching any of the videos for the last many days that people have been posting them. Uh, so this is going to be our very, very first look at anything Portal 2 related other than, you know, previews that came out. Yeah, and mind you, that's very hard to do when every subscription you have on YouTube has about six videos up at once. Yeah, of oh, Portal here's the two content. mode. Yeah. Here's the single player options. And we're both big YouTube watchers, so... It is hard. Alright, so the way this is going to work is he's going to play through our single player, and then later on we're going to we're gonna do a multiplayer um, kind of playthrough. But, I mean, you, you really buy Portal 2 for the single player, so I figured we got to kind of do that first, right? Yeah, and it's more like the original, uh, as in play by yourself. Then we can become robots, but today we shall remain human. And, and you're a girl. And How a girl. Yes. My long hair will go well with it. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna look at the options real quick. Um, yeah, I, I actually, I really, I still find it funny that they went back and changed the ending of the original Portal to better fit a sequel. Yeah, for any of you who don't know, go back and, well, for those of you who play on a computer, we're actually playing on a console right now, but uh, they changed the ending for the original Portal so that the second game makes more sense, which is, which is bold. So if you want to see the original ending, just play, like, uh, Orange Box for the 360, not for the PC, because, yeah. So I've seen a lot of this background before, um, in previews, the destroyed facility. Do you remember how long after Portal 1 this is supposed to be? Oh, I have no idea. I don't even know if they mentioned that in the previews. We'll find out. It's, uh, interesting. You might want to turn the sound up. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Okay, so it's been 15 buzzer. days. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. I like when games do these little Good. things. This completes the gymnastic portion. Make sure you're not playing physical or mental wellness exercise. Yeah. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. All right. Well, I may be a little hesitant to do some of the things um, that they asked because, well, I remember how Portal One went. <laughs> there is a framed painting on the wall. Um, Please go stand in front of it. But this definitely looks like a safer place than uh, the original Portal. Uh, I didn't wake up in a glass cube. That's, that's very true. You're, you're in a nice hotel room. Just looking at the sensitivity and such, it feels a little quick, but should be fine. I, like I was telling you, I think it's the resolution you change. You hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the arm. <laughs> Look at the picture. Now stare at it. I feel like there's something behind it. You should it. now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you I suspect staring at art is not provided with required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Wow! Nice. Good. Now please return to your bed. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. I want to see what's outside. No. You know what? You should probably grab and go to the fridge and just start drinking some alcohol. Because it's going to be a long day, you know? Squats, 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 squats. All right. I don't think I have. Uh, I think you already did the gymnastic portions. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be continuing. I know. All right. I guess we'll go to sleep. I'll be disappointed later if I learn there's more to that room. I know you can just die. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Any Are you going to open the door? At this time. Any ah! Ah! Oh, God. You look te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. 
Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm, stay, stay calm, prepare. It's all the same, prepare. It's all fine, all right? Don't move, I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might wanna hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. What? Oh my god, there's an imprint of you in the yeah. bed. Yeah, it's not nice All right, down there? Can you hear me? I'm not a medical professional, Hello? but I do know that if humans stay lying in a bed for too long, uh, their skin starts to kill them. So. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've months. been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, although if, you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. <laughs> wow. Never mind, say apple. Apple. Say apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> Nice. All, All right, reactor so core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Uh, okay, okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me no, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. 10,000? Why? Ah, Bugs, man. Can you see? I'm I was just a zoom through, feature. I want to see if there's other space. people freaking out, too. Uh, yeah. Just, just got to get through here. I, I just got to concentrate. Just and whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? I don't want to make stew. Make <laughs> stew. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and I'm going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of a station. Get ready. Oh, am I gonna say apple again? Good news, that is not a docking station. Uh. Well, there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm gonna attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Manual <laughs> override. I like the back. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. <laughs> Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh god, if you don't, you do actually slide forward. Alright. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But, um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, I and jump. I'll meet you up ahead. <laughs> You'll meet me up ahead. I don't know how you're gonna get out of this room, but I All shall right. leave that off you go. to you. And off I go, indeed. That's a very, oh, very just clever just intro. Watch on through that like hole. A wake up call. Nice. All right. Uh... Yeah, it's all right. Go ahead. Wow, an Avatar award. Five seconds into the game. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 clever. Again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Clever. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances this is the of first potentially room apocalyptic yeah. ones beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural... Oh, now problems. I find now the, yeah, button. the portal will open and emergency testing will begin. In three, two, one. Wow, this is lovely. Wow, this is... Yeah, well, anyone who's played the original game, which should be all of you, uh, this is exactly where you start. I'm sure it's a different room, though, with 10,000 test subjects. Yeah, probably. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. 
If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. <laughs> nice. Well, let's hope this button didn't do it. Well, it does, doesn't seem to have blown up everything just yet. All right, well, I'm liking the gameplay so far. And, Please uh, note the incandescent hey, particle field the across first, the exit. The this Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Different. I do believe the elevator. I don't believe there were stairs. stairs last time. They weren't uh, that nice. They didn't give you a giant air conditioner either. Yeah. It was, it was a little drafty in there. Alright, this will end the first video, um, and we will see what room two has to offer us.